Tonight, growing reaction into new Missouri laws placing restrictions on the transgender community. Today, Governor Mike Parson signed two bills into law banning certain health services and participation in sports for trans youth. New tonight, our Brent Solomon is here with a closer look. Brent? Mike, today the St. Louis County Health Department sent out a health advisory saying if you know someone in Missouri who needs gender affirming care, have them act right away because come August 28th, it won't happen in the Show Me State. It was even more impactful for our community because he signed it during Pride Month. Robert Fisher of the LGBTQ advocacy group Promo is referring to two bills Governor Mike Parson signed into law Wednesday. One bans minors from getting gender affirming care. The other blocks trans athletes from competing in sports that don't align with their biological gender. I think the idea of trying to say that, hey, Missouri is not transgender friendly or that we're trying to drive people out of state is really a false narrative. What we're trying to do is protect children. I think it is a rather silly thing to focus on. Michael Walk of West County has a teenage transgender daughter. She knows how much uh, having access to gender affirming health care has meant to her. Uh, her emotional state has lifted so much. It's a shame that for several years now, kids will not be able to ex access the same health care. Youth who are already receiving gender affirming care before the new law kicks in can continue to do so in Missouri. Fisher says some families are packing up for other states. And many people are leaving now. There are people that are leaving at the end of this month to protect their children. It creates waves of anxiety for all the trans kids because even though they most of them may not play sports. They feel like they are being put in the position of, of someone who is an outsider. And they already, a lot of them feel that way. They don't, they don't need to be made to feel more outside. They need to be included more. Well, the new law will be in place for four years. Tonight, the County Health Department is sharing a list of resources for families affected. To find it, go to KSDK.com and click on As Seen on TV.